Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a project pen update. Oh, I look a bit rough. <laughs> I've just come back from my first ballet class of the year and I look like I've just been to a ballet class. I look like a mess, but who cares? Uh, project pen. So this year, Kat and I and a whole bunch of other panners are using the hashtag Team Project Pan 2021. Is that right? <laughs> what year is it? Yep, <laughs> it's 2021, right? Oh my god. So hashtag Team Project Pan 2021 to connect with the other panners. If you want to watch more panning videos, you can literally click on the hashtag that's in the description box and it will show you videos that are using that hashtag. Uh, this year I am doing a full face rolling project pan like I did last year. However, I am changing it up just a tiny bit uh, where I do a full refresh every quarter. So it will run for three months and then I will refresh all of the products. Maybe I might keep one or two in. Well, I'm just play it by ear. And I didn't mention this in the first video when I introduced this project. Uh, because I didn't think of it until recently. Um, I'm thinking what I might do as my last quarter is bring back every single product that I don't finish this year that has been in the project pan and see how many I can finish in the last three months of the year. Maybe. I just need to remember that that's what I'm going to do when I get to that time though. So Remind me. So let's start with empties. <laughs> it's not that exciting, but I do have some. So this is the Legom Cell Up Gel to Water Cleanser. Uh, there wasn't much in here, so it was an easy one to finish. It was here and I finished it. I might be able to get one more like morning cleanse out of it, but probably not a makeup removal like... Oh, I might try. I don't know. I reckon I've got one use in there, but I'm thinking it'd be better as a morning cleanse rather than a makeup removing cleanse because I use quite a bit to actually break down my makeup. But anyway, that one, done. Well done me. Very good. Um, I am going to introduce a new cleansing product. Um, I think I'll do new stuff at the end, which is what I usually do but I'm going to introduce one. Um, I finished two sheet masks as well. These are both from the brand Yet, Y-E-T. Yes, enjoy time. Um, I have the Be My Love Shimmering Mask, which is this one, and I have the Pre-Makeup Nutrition Mask, which is this one. I look uh, not, not amazing. I just feel like these are moisturizing sheet masks. I couldn't tell the difference between them. It was just moisturizing. It's like putting a moisturizing serum on your face. Um, not something that I would buy again, but they were fine to use. Moving on to my other products, things that I've used, and to be fair, there is something that I haven't used. I'll get to it. Uh, first up, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So this was 105.34 grams. It's now 103.06 grams. There is 29 grams of product in there. Um, I don't, I think I tried to show you last time that like the cap was basically full of product because of how I'd had it stored in my drawer and, you know, taken a beating and all that stuff. Anyway, I managed to empty it out, which is great, by using it. Fantastic. Well done me. So I know I won't finish this in three months, but it's in here to make some progress on it because she's basically full. And I think I have a backup of that product as well. Uh, the item that I didn't use was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultrafine Mist. So it was here and it's still here. I haven't used it once. Uh, and the reason I haven't used it once is because I'm doing this little side project where I test out all of my primers with like the exact same sort of base routine. The only difference is the primer and I'm not using uh, a spray over the top because I don't want it to skew the results. Now, realistically, if I had just knuckled down and 
like did that project new primer each day doing the testing um i would have been finished with it but i haven't been doing that <laughs> i've been wearing no makeup unless i'm filming so there's that and there's no progress on that uh bronzer this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I have used this. It was 45.86 grams, now 44.92 grams. That's what she's looking like. Will I be able to finish it in three months? I actually don't know. If I wore makeup more often, yes, I would. And that's kind of what I need to strive to do. But whether I will actually do that or not is a completely different story. Uh, then I have my highlighter. This is Becca Champagne Pop. It was 62 point... <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Champagne Pop. Fuck. I'm in a good mood. Ballet makes me happy and so does working out. And here I am, happy. So today it's called Champagne Pop, and next time I film it'll probably be this fucking thing. Uh, anyway, 62.42 grams when I introduced it. It's now 62.35 grams. I do like it. It's a pretty color. There's that. My next product is the Benefit Real Cheeky Party um, Cheek Palette. Uh, five shades in there. I'm mainly focusing on the blushes. Um, I haven't used Hoola at all, uh, but it's just to sort of use it a bit. Use it and see if I even want to keep it. So this was 190.6 grams. It's now 183.59 grams. I honestly don't think that palette will like withstand the test of time in my stash. The blushes, I suspect... Are probably on their way out because they're quite low pigmentation I used sugar bomb today and I swear it looks like I'm not even wearing blush and I layered it like three or four times and I wasn't particularly like gentle with the amount of product that I was picking up and I just feel like it's not really doing anything oh there we go now we got some color so yeah I just don't really think that this needs to stay in my stash. Um, I do want to try the hula that's in here and see if that's still good. Because if it's not, I'll probably just throw the whole thing out and not even fuck with it. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Uh, this was 50.62 grams. It's now 50.62. 42 grams. Uh, I'm still going with it. It's slow going. It's all right. It's definitely a little bit thicker or drier than it was like when I first popped it open last year, but it's still usable. And because I've been using it for so long, like all of last year, it's comfortable for me to just reach for this. I was planning on, you know, getting rid of it at the end of last year, but I just didn't do it because I was like, well, I'm kind of like, I'm comfortable with it. I'm just comfortable with it. I'm not like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing ever. Like, if you don't have this in your stash, you have to go and get it. No, it's not, not really like that. I, and I, I'm not sure that I would actively go out to buy more paint pots. I know they've re released or they are releasing some new sort of fun colors some look like they could be interesting so you know never say never but i doubt i would be running out to buy another painterly paint pot basically like it's okay and i might get one at some stage in my life before i die but mm, it's you know hopefully you get where i'm coming from it's like it's fine oh my god did you hear that that was a puppy stretchy groan little nap time i pick her up but she's sleeping all right let's get into these so what am i starting with nabla nabla cereal liner this was 8.6 grams now 8.53 grams okay <laughs> i don't know where that was um i am having some difficulty with this i also have a hair stuck on my lip uh so when i 
just before I introduced this into my project pan, I was using it and I noticed that it was sort of drying up and not, you know, applying liner very well. And I knew it wasn't because there was no product in it. It was likely because it was full of like eyeshadow and shit. So I took a paper towel, I put some isopropyl alcohol on it and I cleaned out the brush. And then I gave it a good shake and now the ink flows beautifully. But I have discovered that it's flowing a little bit too well and sometimes the tip gets flooded and I will apply it and there is so much liquid on there that it will basically flood my eyelid and it like bleeds into my fine lines. That's annoying. Every time I pull this out now, I have to like wipe the tip on a paper towel to get the excess out and then apply it because it bleeds and it's irritating. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I find that every time I use it, I get a little bit like, oh, a little bit of anxiety, like uh, fear that it's going to bleed on my eye because once it bleeds, that's it. It's all over. You can't take like, you can't take concealer to clean it up if you're wearing eyeshadow underneath. It's too dark to cover with eyeshadow. You can't like get a cotton tip and clean it off because then you're taking off your eyeshadow and it's going to like fuck things up. So I'm a bit like, hmm, I'm not feeling, it's on the ground now. I'm not feeling the love with that product at the moment. I'm finding it is kind of it scares me to use it I'm like you're unpredictable and I don't know what you're gonna do to my face today I don't like it let's move on to Linda Holberg I have one of her uh, flash crayons I think they're called maybe this one's in Altair flash it's a beautiful orangey shade stunning orange metallic I am wearing it today on my waterline and it has held up quite well so far which is good this is, or it was, 5.43 grams. It's now 5.34 grams. I am enjoying playing with a little bit of, like, coloured eyeliner. I think next time, like the next round, I will pop two or three in just to play with them a little bit more. Bit more colour, bit more options than just bright metallic orange. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. <sighs> okay, so it was 24.66 grams, now 24.42 grams. Now, I used to love this mascara, and it's not too bad, but I don't love it as much as I used to, basically. It might be because it's quite a fresh tube, and it needs to, like, dry out a little bit. I find that it's almost like it gets clumpy, and uh you know i'll apply it and i'm like okay that's not enough apply a second layer and then it'll get clumpy because it's got one of those um like the rubber teeth which is fine but i think my lashes are quite sparse so it's like clumping a whole bunch of lashes together and then i'm just going at my lash for like five minutes trying to smooth out the lashes and i'm just I'm like, uh, I'm, mm, I don't think I like it. It's not an experience that I enjoy. Applying mascara shouldn't take 15 minutes. It should be quite quick and easy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a bit frustrated with it. And I think I prefer this better when it's dried out. So, but it's not dried out. She's fresh as a daisy. Uh, let's go to MAC Eyebrows in Lingering. Every time that I use this, I'm like, will this be the day? It hasn't, that day has not come yet. It's a, a day in the future. So it was 3.99 grams, now 3.98 grams. Look, it is what it is. It's a skinny little pencil. It's going to take a while to use it up, but I do love it. I love the product. It's so easy to use. Good precision, good color for me. I can't complain. I just roll my eyes because going from 3.99 to 3.98 is just like, 
Benefit 24-hour brow setter. This was 16.31 grams, now 16.2 grams. I'm still using it. I'm still enjoying it. I love how it holds the brows without making them feel super crunchy. Uh, so, you know, what can I say? I've been working on that for a long time and it will probably outlive me, to be perfectly fair. Um, Colourpop Lippy Pencil. This is in O Snap. This was 7.03 grams. It's now 6.99 grams. I like the color. It's very nice. I find it very easy to wear. No complaints and I am not sick of it. Let's do my nail polishes. So I have China Glaze Light as Air here. Uh, the line was here and it's a little bit lower. There, you might be able to see that pink line there. That is not actually the line that it's at. That's just the line where it's sort of like the pigment is sitting, but this nail polish uh, separates a little bit. So every time I use it, I've got to give it a really good shake. I have used it a few times, but because the bottle basically gets like wider all the way as it goes down, uh, I have to use it quite a few times to see actual results. The Barry M one though, uh, I do actually have like visual progress. Um, again, you can see this uh, nail polish sort of separates a little bit and you get that pigment line and then when you shake it up, it disappears. Um, but the pigment line always sits a little bit lower than the actual line of the product. Um, but I've used this one a few more times, especially on my toenails. I love this color. I fucking love this color so much. It's like fizzy bubbles for my brain. Absolutely love it. Uh, but I kind of hate the formula. I find that, I don't know what it is, but it's not thick. Like the, the nail polish hasn't thickened up, but when I am applying it to my nails, I think it's sort of like drying on contact or starting to dry on contact and it starts to get thick and difficult to like spread it on the nails evenly which is a shame and that is exactly why I would never buy it again however the color oh she so pretty um I'm thinking I want to look for this sort of color in a gel polish that's my jam perfume this is DKNY B Desired. Uh, all right, so this is a bit difficult to show you. It's really hard for me to work out like, you know, where the line really is, but I think I've used about that much. So you can see my first line, second line. Um, yeah, I've been wearing it, it's fine. I am very glad that uh, I have decided to do this sort of quarterly refresh thing and just try to use a little bit of a few of my perfumes because uh, I will get sick of this very quickly. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, next product is a hand chemistry retinoil. So I had to put some washi tape on the side because I rubbed off the line the first time I used it because it's an oil it just dissolved the Sharpie pen which was annoying. Uh, anyway, I've got about half a bottle left now. And I think based on my usage last month, I should be able to finish this by the end of the quarter if I continue to use it at the rate that I did. And I will say, I nearly dropped it. I will say um, this isn't the only like body moisturizing product that I used. If I focused on this, I could easily finish this in a month for sure. My hair product is, this is where I made the most progress other than the products that I finished. Uh, this is a Daily Naturals End Ends Sealer uh, leave-in hair product. So it was there and it's now down here. Um, so I've been using this as a leave-in product and sometimes as a pre-wash treatment when my hair is really dry. Because I have extensions, um, these extensions are really long. They're like down to my gold, down to my hip basically. Uh, and there's three layers of them. So they're quite, and actually I think two of the layers are like 
doubled up. So they're very, very thick. I use a lot of product in my hair these days. A lot of shampoo, a lot of, well, not a lot of shampoo because I only wash the roots and that hasn't changed. A lot of conditioner, a lot of leave-in treatments, a lot of oils, a lot of like styling products, just a lot of it, a lot more than I used to. So I've just been burning through this and I'm not sad about that at all because I have a crap load of hair products that I want to get through. Also, can we just talk about these balloons? Because I just saw them moving behind me. Courtesy of Madeline, she did a, uh, a photo shoot and she had these awesome, gigantic helium balloons uh, at the photo shoot. And she gave me some. And they're holding up really well, Madeline. I'm filming this on Saturday. And look at them, they're still going strong. They're amazing. They are absolutely amazing also i saw like what was happening at the photo shoot with all the balloons oh god it looks so fucking good um and she had all different colors i love them they're so cool okay anyway there's that what else do i have masks no serum where's my serum god i feel like i'm having an ooh squirrel moment uh okay my serum is the i think it's cc lim glam I don't know. 24 karat gold serum. Uh, it was here. It's now down here. So I started using this on my body um, and on my face. I was using um, the Sunday Riley Lunar Oil. Now I finished that and I went into using this morning and night and I saw like a drastic change in my skin. I was like, it went from being, oh my God, amazing, super smooth, super soft. It looked um, quite even when I didn't have makeup on. I was very happy. Um, and then I went to using this and I was like, it's just not, it's, it doesn't even compare. It's not, it's not great. <laughs> not great. Um, so yeah, I've just been using it on my body mostly and I've actually moved on to a different serum for my face um, and I want to get back into retinols. What I do like about this product is that it is nice and hydrating without leaving like a sticky residue. So I've very happily been using this on my chest, my arms, torso, legs, and then I like let it set for a few minutes and then I go in with a moisturizer and that's working for me. I don't want to just throw it away because I feel like it's just a waste, you know. Um, I already have a lot of waste that is just a part of my life in general due to what I do. So when it comes to using up products, I try my best to actually use them up if I can find a way to enjoy them. So this is not something that I would buy again. I am not currently using it in my face skincare routine. I am just using it on my body and I think I'll pro I've probably got two or three uses left in this. So I will definitely finish it up uh, by the next update. Okay, the last things uh, that I didn't use, let's do these. These are the sheet masks, so I've still got Dr. Jart, I've got Longcom, I have Skin Iceland, and I have the Sassatini uh, Antioxidant Sheet Mask. I am struggling with the sheet masks. I find the only time that I remember to use a sheet mask is when I am fussing with my Project Pan stuff. So if I'm updating my list or if I'm gathering my things to like film an update or something like that, I'm like, fuck, sheet masks. And then I like rush to put one on my face. Um, so I'm, I'm struggling with these. And these sort of sit behind my, um, like where I sit down to do my skincare routine, these sit behind my products. So I can kind of see them, but also I feel like they're obstructed enough that I just don't see them. So I'm struggling. I need to find a different method. I think what I need to do is sort of, put them literally just smack bang in the middle of my desk and try and use them and you know whatevs because I'm just not using them and it's annoying. Uh, the last item is the Andalou Naturals Canacel Glow Mask. I didn't 
outweigh this last time I don't think I don't know I can't oh. I'm gonna weigh it now hang on this product is currently 109.85 grams I used it once I don't love it it kind of burns my skin and I don't feel like it does anything else that great it's supposed to do a whole bunch of things it's supposed to let me get their website up again it's supposed to uh, protect with antioxidants and shit. It's supposed to hydrate. It's supposed to uh, soothe distressed skin. It's supposed to improve the natural skin defense. Uh, like, do you actually do any of those things or do you just take up space and burn my face a little bit? I want to introduce one product before I wrap this up. Uh, it is a cleansing product and it is within the makeup removing realm. Uh, Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleansing Oil. So this is about half full. I've been working on this for a long time. I don't have... I was going to start with I don't hate this product. I don't love this product. I don't hate this product. It's just okay. Um, if there was like a zombie apocalypse and this is all that I had to clean my face, I would still be okay with it. Um, but if it's not zombie apocalypse and I can go to the shops and buy a new cleanser, I'm not going to buy this one. Does that kind of explain how I feel about it? Um, I do like the scent of it. I feel like it smells like, kind of like Jolly Ranchers. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers, but also chemicals. So there we go. Anyway, I really want to finish this one this year. Like, I need to get this out of my life this year okay she's awake here she is she's big she's a big baby big baby she's gonna be uh when is this going up actually the day you're watching this she is 12 weeks old 12 weeks three months big baby <laughs> she is getting huge and cheeky and cheeky cheeky baby um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i will be back in a month with another update and uh in the meantime i'll see you in the next one bye